I'm Dr. Rachel Beard. I am an assistant professor of surgery here at Brown and uh, Rhode Island Hospital. I specialize in hepatopancreatic or biliary surgery um, and also do some general surgery as well. At the start of medical school, I had no intention of doing surgery. I actually planned to do infectious disease. <laughs> um, I spent a summer in Kenya. I was actually diagnosed with malaria after I got back and had a big interest in doing infectious disease. Um, but then when I spent time on surgical services in the second half of medical school, I was really drawn to the teamwork, the fast pace, um, and the way you hands-on take care of patients. Um, so I did that and never looked back. I deal with patients with uh, pancreatic cancer a lot. I deal with patients with bile duct cancers or cholangiocarcinomas, patients with liver cancers, both cancers that start in the liver um, and start in other organs and spread to the liver. There are some non-cancer operations that I do as well, whether they're uh, benign masses that come up in the liver um, or occasionally in the pancreas also. Um, I also care for patients with severe pancreatitis or complications of pancreatitis um, and various other less common things. I think the responsibility you have to a patient uh, in a surgical setting is something that's really unique and not reproducible in a lot of other doctor-patient settings. Um, I think you truly have a relationship, especially doing things like cancer surgery, uh, planned operations, um, oftentimes major operations with that patient, and then continuing to care for that patient um, through their post-operative recovery. Hopefully a very smooth one, uh, but you know, dealing with any problems that come up and then um, taking care of patients in the future. So that's one of the things I love about what I do um, is developing very long-term relationships with patients. Um, and I always tell them best case scenario, you don't even remember my name down the road because you put this all behind you and move on with your life. But I think it's really important when you do, especially uh, cancer surgery, to treat the whole patient. So I don't want to know what, just what's going on with their tumor, but I want to know about them, about their family, what's important to them, uh, what their goals are, and work with them to kind of set realistic expectations um, when undertaking sometimes major operations for what their recovery is going to be like. and. Um, what it is that they hope to get back to in terms of their lives. HPB, hepatopancreatic biliary surgery, is really a specialty uh, that is primarily done in high-level um, tertiary care uh, referral centers, um, mostly academic settings um, that are affiliated with medical schools. It's not something that's frequently done in smaller community settings. So that was the type of place that I was looking to practice in and was very fortunate to end up here. You know, I think there's certain cancers, especially that are more common, such as breast cancer, that get a lot of publicity, a lot of funding for research. And I think in the past, pancreatic cancer, because it was a lot less common, was really kind of marginalized. Uh, but I think that's certainly changed. Um, there's a National Pancreatic Cancer Foundation now. Um, and a lot of other patient groups that really advocate um, for both patients as well as research.